Oleksandr Oleksandrovich Yusik was born on January 17, 1987 in Simferopol, Crimean Oblast, Ukrainian SSR, Soviet Union on January 17, 1987, to parents originally from northern Ukraine. His mother was born in the Chernihiv region, in the village of Rybatin, Korop Rayon, while his father was a native of Sumy. His mother worked in construction and moved to Simferopol to study. His father was a military man who passed through Afghanistan, working as a security guard in Crimea, and the two met there. He is the firstborn of his family and he has two siblings. Until age 15, he played football and was trained at the SC Tavria Simferopol Specialized Sports School of Olympic Reserve, Club's Football Academy. In 2002 Yusik switched to boxing. He is a graduate of Lviv State University of Physical Culture. He is a Ukrainian professional boxer. He has held multiple world championships in two weight classes, including the unified heavyweight title since 2021, and the ring magazine title since 2022. He has also held the International Boxing Organization IBO, title since 2021. Previously, he held the undisputed cruiserweight championship from 2018 to 2019, being the first boxer in that division to hold all four major world titles. Yusik is widely regarded as one of the greatest Ukrainian boxers of all time and one of the greatest cruiserweights of all time, alongside Evander Holyfield. With his victory over Anthony Joshua in 2021, Yusik became one of only three boxers to have unified the cruiserweight world titles and become a world heavyweight champion, joining Evander Holyfield and David Hay. As an amateur, Yusik won heavyweight gold medals at the 2011 World Championships and 2012 Olympics. He turned professional in 2013 and won the undisputed cruiserweight championship in his 15th professional fight in 2018. Three of his titles were won during the inaugural World Boxing Super Series, in which he won the Muhammad Ali Trophy, as well as the ring and lineal cruiserweight titles. For his achievements, Yusik was named the 2018 Fighter of the Year by Sports Illustrated ESPN, the Ring and the Boxing Writers Association of America BWAA. In 2018 Yusik became the fourth male boxer in history to simultaneously hold the WBA, WBC, IBF and WBO titles, after Jermaine Taylor, Bernard Hopkins and Terence Crawford. He was the first Ukrainian undisputed champion. He is particularly notable for the speed of his accomplishments, winning his first world title in his 10th fight, and becoming the undisputed champion of his weight class by his 15th fight. Yusik vacated his cruiserweight titles in 2019 to move up to heavyweight. By that point, in 16 fights he had defeated five current or former world champions. In September 2021, Yusik defeated unified heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua to win the WBA, IBF, WBO, and IBO titles. He defended the titles in a rematch against Joshua in August 2022, whilst winning the vacant ring title. As of August 2022, Yusik is ranked as the world's best active boxer, pound for pound, by the ring, second by the Transnational Boxing Rankings Board, TBRB, third by BWAA, fifth by BoxRec and sixth by ESPN. He is also ranked as the best heavyweight by TBRB, BoxRec and ESPN. Oleksandr Yusik, the Ukrainian professional boxer, stands at a height of 1.90 meters, 6 feet 3 inches. Oleksandr Yusik boasts an estimated net worth of around $15 million. About Oleksandr Yusik personal life. Yusik is married and has three children. They live in Kiev, Ukraine. His wife has Russian citizenship and the boxer uses Russian as his first language. On April 28, 2014, after the annexation of Crimea by the Russian Federation, Yusik declared he would never exchange his Ukrainian citizenship for Russian citizenship. In 2016, responding to a question if he can still enter Crimea, he stated that he often visits his family in the peninsula, that he does not like to talk politics due to the fact that people like to take words out of context, that in Russia he has many fans and that he does not divide our peoples because we are Slavs. Afterwards, whenever pressed on the question, Yusik would often reply, Crimea belongs to God, however in September 2022 Yusik stated that Crimea was, is, and will be, Ukrainian and that it had been taken away forcefully from Ukraine. In November, after Ukrainian armed forces recaptured Kherson, Yusik posted a message on his Instagram account, Donetsk is Ukraine. Luhansk is Ukraine. Zaporizhia is Ukraine. Crimea is Ukraine. Kherson is Ukraine. Glory to Ukraine. Glory to ZSU. In December 2020, it was announced that he will become a partner of WePlay Esports for the upcoming WePlay Ultimate Fighting League. Esports host James Banks has this to say about Yusik's involvement in his Dashfight interview, 
he is helping us to bridge the gap between esports and actual, real fighting in terms of boxing and what we can deliver. I think it opens up a different avenue of where we can bring new people from outside of esports, and also bring some people from esports to look back at boxing because it is a time-loved sport. MMA obviously is a big sport that people are talking about, but boxing has always been the classic. Yusik is an orthodox Christian. After his fight against Anthony Joshua, he said in an interview, The only thing I wanted to do with this fight is to give praise to my Lord Jesus Christ and to say that all comes from him. On February 26, 2022, Yusik urged Russian President Vladimir Putin to call off Russia's invasion of Ukraine that had begun on February 24. A few days later, Yusik, fellow boxer Vasily Lomachenko and Bellator MMA welterweight champion Yaroslav Amasov traveled to Ukraine to join the country's territorial defense forces, although in late March, Yusik left Ukraine to train for his rematch with Anthony Joshua. In 2022, he became a co-founder and brand ambassador of the Ready to Fight international blockchain platform, whose mission is to make building a boxing career easier and more accessible by creating effective connections between athletes, managers, agents, doctors and other specialized professionals, as well as sports services, infrastructure and fans. In 2023, Yusik signed a one-year professional contract with Ukrainian Premier League team FC Polisia Zydemir. He was given the number 17. He previously made a substitute appearance for the club in the 76th minute of a 2-1 friendly win over Vérez in February 2022. Yusik has stated he intends to play football after he retires from boxing. Alexander Yusik, the undisputed cruiserweight and heavyweight world boxing champion, has been actively involved in philanthropic efforts, particularly in supporting his home country, Ukraine. Here are some highlights of his contributions. Yusik joined the United24 fundraising platform as an ambassador, focusing on the Reconstruction of Ukraine initiative. He has been working on rebuilding Ukrainian cities damaged by conflict, starting with infrastructure projects in the Kyiv region. He organized a charity evening and auction in Los Angeles at the Beverly Hills Hotel through the Yusik Foundation. The event aimed to raise significant funds to aid Ukrainians affected by the war. Yusik co-founded the blockchain-based online boxing platform Ready to Fight and formed a strategic partnership with the World Boxing Council WBC. This collaboration focuses on talent search and development, education, and promotion of boxing, especially among young people. Yusik has reportedly spent over a million dollars to help Ukraine, drawing attention to the Yusik Foundation during significant boxing events to support his country. Yusik's efforts extend beyond financial contributions, he has become a symbol of resilience and hope for many, using his platform to unite and mobilize support for Ukraine during challenging times. About Alexander Yusik Professional Career Yusik turned pro in late 2013 at the age of 26 and signed a promotional deal with the Klitschko Brothers K2 Promotions, fighting in the cruiserweight division. On November 9, 2013 Yusik made his professional debut by defeating Mexican fighter Felipe Romero via a fifth-round knockout. The following month he stopped 38-year-old Epifanio Mendoza in four rounds. In his third professional fight on April 26, 2014, Yusik made his debut in Germany on the undercard of Klitschko Lipai at the Koenig Pilsner Arena, defeating Ben Safoa via third-round knockout. A month later, Yusik returned home and scored a fourth-round knockout victory over Argentine Caesar David Krenz. Yusik won his first title on October 4, 2014, after beating South African boxer Daniel Brewer via seventh-round technical knockout TKO, for the interim WBO Intercontinental Cruiserweight title. Yusik defended the title two months later, stopping 35-year-old Danny Venter in the ninth round. Yusik was ahead on all three judges' scorecards at the time of stoppage. Yusik has been scheduled to face WBC champion Tyson Fury for the undisputed heavyweight title in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The fight contract signing was announced on September 29, 2023. The fight was officially announced for February 17, 2024 on November 16, 2023. On February 2, it was announced the fight will not be taking place on the 17th as Fury had sustained a cut in training. The fight has been rescheduled to take place on May 18 in Saudi Arabia. Yusik told the BBC that he missed the birth of his child while training in Spain and that he would return to Ukraine to see his family before resuming training for the rescheduled fight. About Alexander Yusik House Alexander Yusik, the Ukrainian professional boxer, had his family home in Ukraine occupied and damaged by Russian forces while he was away preparing for his fight against Anthony Joshua in Saudi Arabia. After the occupation, images surfaced showing the damage to his property, but Yusik has since returned home and raised the Ukrainian flag in his garden as a sign of reclaiming his space. 
In addition to dealing with personal losses, Yusik has been actively involved in efforts to rebuild homes in Ukraine. He has donated $205,000 to help restore homes and buildings that have been destroyed due to the conflict. This contribution is part of a larger initiative called United24, which aims to rebuild 18 buildings in five cities close to Kiev. Yusik's commitment to his country and his people is evident not only in his boxing career but also in his philanthropic efforts during these challenging times. His actions reflect a deep sense of national pride and resilience in the face of adversity. That is all we have for you today, please go ahead and give us a like, share to your friends, leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe.